So hello everybody, today is Thursday. This is a uh, motel night number three for Blake. Uh, he's uh, tired, he's exhausted, he's had a long day. Uh, his, uh, his legs are swollen from being uh, outside. Uh, probably because he's also been standing but uh, Blake is uh, knocked out. And uh, I want to say thank you uh, to the uh, subscribers uh, for um, getting Blake a room for the third night in a row. Hopefully this will help him. Uh, he really likes staying in a room and staying away from all the craziness, uh, the heat. He says the heat is really bad for him. Uh, it affects his uh, throat and uh, his ability to stay off of his feet and, and, and the swelling. So um, he said he appreciated the first night, he appreciated the second night, and uh, I appreciate uh, the Lost in Phoenix community, uh, you know, people donating $5, $10, $20, $25 to, we total it up and it adds up to, to get him a room. Uh, Quinn stepped up and got him a room for tomorrow. So hopefully by him having rooms and away from the streets, uh, we can help him uh, get healthier, right? Just uh, he could realize that we're here trying to help him and um, we're just trying to help him basically, right? He, he uh, giving him a, a reason to, you know, see a doctor, you know, maybe soon he'll let me take him to a hospital to get checked out. Uh, Dr. Uh, Navarez is, is in Mexico until the 29th, so let's see if Blake changes his mind and uh, wants to be seen by a physician or or somebody before uh, before the 29th of July. Uh, but um, but we were talking on 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 our way over here, and uh, uh, he says that uh, the showers. He likes showering with cold water. It feels good on his on his skin, he says, on his back. And uh, this weekend will be like 113 degrees here in Phoenix. So, um, so definitely 113 degrees out in the heat. Definitely don't want a person in his condition, right? He does. He's not looking good. Not. Uh, I mean, he's looking better than the last. Uh, what was it? Thursday, right? He's looking a lot better. Definitely. Um, um, he said his breathing improved and uh, also took him to eat. He requested that I buy him a, a Burger King. So I bought him a, a Burger King, a, a cheeseburger fries, and he ate the whole thing. So uh, his appetite is coming back. Before it was like insurers. Now it's he's asking for like burgers, right? Uh, so uh, so that I think that's an improvement, right? From what from before, right? It was just insurers, water. Gatorade, uh, Pedialyte, uh, but now uh, I got him some water today. Uh, again, Burger King. Uh, he says he's able to eat solids now, and I think it's because you know we're we're helping him, and and, and he's in air conditioning, and he's relaxing on a bed. Uh, so, uh, so um, I'm hoping that he's you know, improving little by little. Uh, I think baby steps, right? Uh, I think uh, Blake appreciates Lost in Phoenix community. Uh, he's definitely trusting us, and uh, and uh, you know he's allowed me to bring him to a to a hotel, you know, for the third night uh, because he appreciates the the kindness of strangers, right? Um, I asked Blake, you know, how tall is he? He says he's five eleven. I said, Blake, what, what's the most you've ever weighed in your life? You know, and he said he was uh, the most he's ever weighed was like 150. And uh, I said, Blake, how much do you weigh right now? And he said, like, he said 117. I said, nah, dude, you're not, you're not 117. You're probably like 70 pounds, maybe. You know, so I forgot to bring my scale. I was, I was going to bring my, my scale to weigh him, but I forgot to bring it. So next time... You guys remind me to bring my scale so I could weigh him. He says he's 117. I say he's about 70 pounds, if that. 
Uh, he's really, really thin. But uh, him eating a burger and fries and a, and a Coke today, I think uh, maybe that'll that'll put some weight on him, right? A little bit more than insurers. So I uh, also got him some some clothes. Uh, as you guys know, the, his backpack was stolen, his clothes. So I had to go get him some clothes and that's all uh, through donations from the Lost in Phoenix community to get him some clothes and, and shorts. So, uh, so again, this is uh, Blake's third night in a hotel. Uh, I'm hoping that that uh, him being in these rooms will will rejuvenate him, rejuvenate his health, uh, and help him realize that he needs to give himself a chance uh, at life. You know, let's go. Let me take you to a doctor. Let's 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 call an ambulance. You know, just to check you out, check out your vitals, and uh, I'm hoping he'll allow that soon. Okay, so I'll keep you guys updated. Again. Uh, uh, this room was um, uh, donated or sponsored by uh, uh, various Lost in Phoenix uh, subscribers. And uh, we just pulled, pulled the money together to get a room for tonight. Tomorrow is Quinn. Quinn uh, got him a room for t tomorrow. So thank you, Quinn. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all the people that have donated, you know, uh, 5 10 20 $25 here and there. Uh, to be able to get him food, to be able to get him some clothes, to be able to get him uh, some some rooms uh, so that he could feel the love and uh, he can give himself an opportunity, a chance at, at life, right? So um, again, I'm, I'm grateful for you guys. You guys are amazing. And there he is. He's, he's, he's resting. He's, he's tired. He's busy. He has a, he's had a busy day, he said. Um, so uh, checkout was at 11 today, and, and when, he's, when he had to check out, he basically has to go and walk, right? Uh, I was at work. I was working, but after work, I went to go look for him and, and picked him up and got him food and clothes and, and just, you know, just let him know that he matters, right? Uh, his mom left him to uh, Colorado, apparently, uh, last week. Um, his grandma in California called uh, the Phoenix Police Department, uh, missing units, <laughs> missing unit department, uh, unit, missing persons unit. And uh, they called me to verify that he's, uh, he's not missing and, uh, and he's definitely not missing. Uh, and uh, that was confirmed. So the detective called back the grandma and explained to her that uh, because he's an adult, uh, the police aren't able to basically do anything. The, the detective didn't even, didn't said said you know I can't I can't even ask you where he's at because he's an adult and I can see on the video that he's alive and that he's not missing. He talked to you on his own volition, uh, like he volunteered to talk to you. Uh, so there's really no, it's not a missing person case. So, all, so the tech detective said he'll call back the grandma and explain, uh, you know, that, that missing person process, right? So uh, also the aunt of Blake called me last night, late at night. And uh, again, I was talking to her for about 30 minutes and kind of explaining the deal. <clears throat> and, um, and yeah, so he has family. Uh, I don't know the dynamics. I don't know what's going on with, with, with the family. I don't know all the ins and outs as far as you know what what's what the family issues are again the mom uh, Blake was out in the streets with the mom the mom left Blake yes, uh, last week and is in Colorado apparently so Blake is basically by himself uh, uh, but 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 with the lost in Phoenix community trying to help him with clothes and, and food and and a bed uh, he's out here um uh you know trying to trying to rest and uh give himself a, a chance at life okay so uh if we were to get him a room he would be sleeping out in the streets right now right traffic uh a bunch of bad people trying to take his stuff it's already happened various times um uh, just people trying to harm him because he can't really defend himself he can't fend for himself so 
we're providing him shelter, safety, and food, right? Uh, somewhere uh, with air conditioning, a shower, uh, and all the necessities for him to realize that people care, Blake matters, and we're doing our part. He needs to do his part by meeting us halfway and allowing uh, medical personnel to examine him, right? So that's my next step, guys. That's what I'm gonna be working on. So again, I really appreciate you guys stepping up and trying to help. Uh, Blake helps, even though right now he's knocked out. Uh, he's resting. That's why he we brought him to a room because he's he's resting. That's what he's supposed to do is rest. So uh, tomorrow I'll see him again. And again, I just want to thank you guys very much. You guys have a good evening. We'll talk soon.